Hello my lovely friends, it's Nikki and Merlin and B today. Uh, so we are coming to you during this coronavirus, um, all during the week. And Merlin made a public service announcement um, with B earlier, so go and have a look at that. He's going to jump down because he wants me to throw B for him. Uh, so yeah, check out that video on Facebook and on my YouTube channel. Um, so as promised, we will share our story day by day as it's going on. Today is day one of lockdown in the UK and we've been told that we can only go out once for exercise and we can go out um, for essential uh, needs basically. So yeah reactions so people are reacting differently and i just want to read something from someone who's an aid worker and has lived through about six um disasters all over the world and she said and it's really interesting she said that there are coping we all have different coping mechanisms for the same thing so some people they are information seeking like mad 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 get as much information as possible that's their way of coping for others, they're getting angry. Um, today, as part of our story, we <laughs> saw that. Talking about frustration and anger over there, Merlin wants me to throw his bee. Hold on one second. Merlin, trying to give a video here. One more throw. One more throw, go. Um, so we'll tell you about that in a second. People are trying to pick fights. We've also seen that. So on the group, Facebook groups that I run, um, you just have to alert me if anyone, you know, is not, I mean, no one is really quite themselves at the moment, but some people pick fights when, this, when they're scared and they're worried and they're angry and that's how they take it out on others. Um, others try to control, so they try to become like the military and the police to assert power and, and control over other people because they feel completely out of control. So we can also understand that. So my advice is just to let it come in. Don't react if you can. Take deep breaths. Just let it out and release. And just by doing that and allowing them to behave in the way they're behaving, to get it out, is helping them release it. Um, we don't have to take that on. It's got nothing to do with us. Everyone is experiencing this personally and however they're behaving, whether they're picking on others or getting angry, as long as it's not... Um, you know, causing any physical harm or harming anyone. And you can also reach out for support if you're feeling bullied or picked on and you're not handling it. But, you know, we don't need to take that on. It's nothing to do with us. Um, there's panic, of course, I've seen that. I've panicked <laughs> several times. Uh, there's people that do lots of jokes. I kind of fall into that category too. I've just been spreading as much humor about as possible. There's denial. I did go through that stage. My uh, my sister and my dad out in South Africa, I think they're at that stage, you know, before it really hits. Um, no one really thinks this is going to affect them. And I really hope that is true, but that's kind of a form of denial as well. Active and efficient and helpful, that's the way they cope. They just kind of, you know, start to, and I'm hoping I'm starting to go into that phase, fingers crossed. Um, but again, it's, it's a coping mechanism. Um, none, you know, none of them are better or worse than the others. Um, and some withdraw, you know, become depressed, withdraw within themselves. So watch out for all of this, have compassion, look after yourself first, and be safe. And, you know, you don't have to take anything from others. And yeah, we're sending lots of love. So I'm just gonna pick up Merlin, hold on. I can't do a video without you. No. I'll get nervous. Yeah. No, you're such a good boy. So our little story today is we went out for our one walk. Thank you. Yes. And I tried to keep it as normal as possible. So we had a brush first and I put a video up of, because a lot of us are, you know, I mean, I've always brushed Merlin every day, but a lot of us are having to now do this for our dogs. We don't have our grooming appointments. So go and check out that video to give some tips. Mm. We had our brush. And then we went out for our walk and we went to our local beach and thankfully at the moment people are um, 
abiding by the rules and their social distancing and there weren't very many people out so we were really thankful about that it was stressful the other day hey over the weekend it was it was very stressful we were jumping into bushes and walking out into the middle of the road to try and uh, social distance there were so many people out but today was different and we got down to the beach and then as always I throw the ball for Merlin and I do my yoga and stretching and meditation and as I was doing my meditation part of my exercise a woman and her daughter walked past um, they both had red masks over their face and the woman shouted at me um, and I couldn't really hear what she was saying so Merlin and I just watched and we were very um, at the moment very much in our center we've been doing a lot of meditation practices and we're keeping healthy and active and we're staying indoors and so we felt we were able to let her have her say without needing to react or say anything back she was obviously very scared by the way she was moving very fast she was pulling like dragging a daughter across the beach on their one walk out petrified and she was shouting at me and being like you are disgraceful type of things this is not a holiday and this and that's you know this is her opinion and I think it comes from a very fearful place and I need to respect that and I understand that she's scared you know we all are scared so that's our story and what I did then was I well I was already doing my meditation practice which is about maintaining a bubble of energy around me my center and so I was allowed allowed that energy to just filter out I gave it down to mother earth she is healing at the moment with all of us staying indoors. It's amazing. The ozone layer is healing. And that like heavy, angry energy is a living energy that she can use. So I just release it out to her as part of the practices that I do and the ancient traditions that I follow, of how to connect with nature and with animals. And I brought in more beautiful light and sunlight. So it's so easy to fill my bubble with such beautiful light. Um, and at the same time, I was able to allow her to express out what she needed to do. So I hope that it helped both of us. And yeah, and I'd like to send love to everyone who's getting angry, picking fights. I felt angry at the weekend because there were so many people disregarding very simple things that we could do to keep each other safe. Um, today, Merlin and I went out with a long line. So he was on a five meter long line. And this meant that anyone who didn't want their dog to um, associate with Merlin, then, you know, I had hold of the line as well as his <coughs> recall. Merlin, one more. Come bring it closer. This is B. It's like having children. And um, so, yeah, so that gave him his freedom, but I was also able to respect others and... Then I could also throw the ball because the lead can just trail behind him on the beach. So I'll pop some videos of what we've been doing today. Also, when we got home, um, <coughs> there, I need to take B away from you now and settle. Good boy. Well done. We've only got a couple more minutes. Well done. And go down. Thank you, darling. Wait. Settle down. Uh, I'll also do a video about calming protocol. It's quite hard to do when you're distracted. This is not ideal. Um, so yes, we got, what was I saying? We got back from the walk and I do a few simple things. It's, it's known that the coronavirus cannot be transmitted from a dog to a human. It's only a human to human virus at this time. And But what we also do know is that the virus can stay on surfaces, so it can stay on cardboard, for instance, for 24 hours. It can stay on metal, I think it was three to four days or something like that. So I think cardboard is the closest to something like hair as a surface and clothes. And of course, dogs have hair too, so. Are you coming up now? So it's a very, very low chance. And what I do is I just make sure to take any clothing off Merlin or harness and stuff and leave that in the porch and just as I'm disinfecting my phone and the keys um, I'll disinfect you know the clip of the lead 
and I will give him his fur a spray with colloidal silver or there is um, another product, a natural product. I just has gone out of my mind, but I'll put in the comments. Only use natural products if you're going to use anything on your dog. We don't want to cause them harm at this time. And again, it's a very low risk, but it is something that extra we can do. You know, if you're feeling you just want to be doing as much as possible. And it's such an easy thing to do. Just have your spray bottle and give them a light spray. And I've put a video up and you can see he doesn't mind it at all. Cloida Silver kills virus, as does this other natural pet spray that I'll find the name of. Or you've got like antibacterial wipes for pets. Only use things that are for pets if you are going to do this. It's not, it's not anywhere saying that you have to do this. Um, I just want to give you some advice in terms of what we're doing and, you know, as dog parents, what else can we be doing? I let Merlin play with dogs as long as the other um, parents are happy for that because play is really essential for any dogs that are experiencing anxiety and all of them will be at this time because we are experiencing anxiety. Whatever the human's feeling with dog is going to pick up on. So play is such a beautiful way of releasing anxiety and helping them to cope. So I'm kind of weighing that up. Everyone will have their own opinion on that. Yes, good boy. And yeah, I think that's everything from today. We hope you are keeping safe. We love you. Anything you need, post on my groups, Dog Friendly Dorset on Facebook and Dog Friendly Manchester and Cheshire on Facebook. I've also got chilledoutdogs.com is my website and if you would like to support me and would like some training videos things to do with your dogs some behavior advice you can book a behavior com consultation i've always done these online in any case um, come through to me chilledoutdogs.com or you can join and subscribe on patreon.com forward slash nikki crow these are hard times so just for a pound and you'll get access to so much resource from me you have an amazing opportunity to help your dog to train them to help them with their health and their mental well-being there's massage classes there's all sorts go and check it out lots of love to all of you bye